Hello Bard Haters, and welcome to another Find Me Hand Bards Let's Play. I'm Ben, and this is more Tyranny. So, last time, we uh, we sort of finished up a lot of these side quests in the area of Endrian's Well. We uh, managed to screw up, I screwed up a, a little bit at the end because I forgot to talk to a couple people before completing the quest. So they automatically failed after I uh, completed, you know, went further on in the main game. But, I reloaded the save as I said, went back and did them. And uh, got a couple of things. I got a uh, the Scarlet Chorus quest that I had to do gave uh, the uh, Death Knell gave me a uh, one of her old swords, and uh, I ended up selling it for a fair amount of money. But it wasn't really useful to me or anyone in the party, so I just figured, why even bother keeping it? As for the other one, uh, I had to go back and talk to Sevius about his uh, Earth Shakers and tell him that the Earth Shakers had shown up, which they had. And for that, I actually got a lot more. I got 750 rings, which I figured out how it works. 750 rings is basically seven, uh, seven bronze rings, 50 copper rings. Because, as I said, like Dragon Age, it's, you know, 100 for the next area, for the next, like, step up, and then 100 for the step above that. So, kind of like in Dragon Age, how 100 coppers is one silver, 100 silvers is a sovereign. Um, in this one, it's kind of the same, but, you know, copper, bronze, and iron. So, 750 rings, and two other things that he gave me, just around personal, uh, my own personal gratification. A cleansing charm, which makes me immune to poison, which hasn't come up yet, but it may very well do later. And, more interestingly, a uh, health regeneration ring. So right now I have a couple uh, other little things. I have one that gives me a plus one to my uh, quickness. I have one that gives me a plus one to my parrying. And quickness, I don't even know if I necessarily need. It gives me a bonus to my ability and spell cooldown. But as far as, like, is it actually useful from a skill, pers skill, uh, skill perspective, I don't necessarily know that it is. So I might as well just unequip that and give myself the health regeneration thing. Now, admittedly, the health regeneration is not that great. It's one health every six seconds. But given how long it takes to actually, um, to do an attack, that plus one health over the course of combat could turn into quite a lot. So that's what I got for, um, for completing those quests. And now it's time to actually go on to the capstone of the Vendrian Well arc, which means I have to talk to Iron Marshal Aragnos and get my assignment. I shall join you for the battle, even if we have to spill some chorus blood. I don't think Verse will like that. Actually, she probably won't care at this point. The Scarlet Chorus basically abandoned her, so can't imagine she's going to be too loyal to them anymore. Oh, I have 39 subterfuge now. I can take stuff. So what do we got here? We got a bronze throwing dagger. Not great. And we've got an iron glaive. Um, one hand, and also not great. It's actually got a higher range than my greatsword. Oh, it's a, that's because it's a spear, okay. I'm wondering if it might be worth my time to try that out on Beric, admittedly. So let's go to Beric and let's compare this to what he's got. So, less, uh, slightly less damage, slightly less recovery, a lot more range though. Also, what's it look like? What's it actually look like on here? Interesting. I kind of like... Yeah, I think I'm going to put put that and this, this shield and the other one until I come up with a... We'll have a secondary weapon set, just for just for right now. Now we can go all the way into the Vendrian's Well Citadel. And get there sometime in the morning. Because as you remember, I slept last time. I had to sleep again um, after going to the Seerot Chorus Camp and doing all sorts of stuff there. But it went into night by the time I got back. So now it's going to be about 7 in the morning. We're on day 3. Three, so five days left. All right, so looks like we got a charge on in. I can't imagine the Scarlet Chorus are going to let us do it. You want me to cause just generalized trouble or have specific plans? Okay. Silence and resistance, heady, secure way over the wall. We're not dressed or scaling. You know, honestly, if it does boil down to the uh, the disfavored versus Scarlet Chorus, my money would be on the disfavored anyway, just because they're better trained. I mean, in a way, it is sort of indicative of what happened when the Marines invaded Somalia. Um, we had substantially less numbers than they did, and they had a lot more guns and everything. But we mowed them down because, well, we're the frickin' Marines. Okay, anything else useful here? Come at me, grave meat. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's happening. Something's happening. Outrunner. Oh, this is the Vendrian Guard. Apparently they came outside the wall. Wow, there's a lot of them. Bleed out, you little shit. Yeah, and he's dead. Wow, that was simple. 
If the entire rest of the level is like this, it should be quick going. Spotted something. Ah! We got hit with a spike Shoot. trap! Oh! No, no, no. Okay. Verse. Can you disarm this? Subterfuge. There we go. Here's what I'm thinking. Barrack's gonna go and do Clash of Iron, and he's gonna... Uh, aggro the two in front. I'm gonna go and charge straight into the guy in back. Because he's an archer and take him down. Lantry, I want you to use Rhymestone on the guy with the tanky shield. Verse is going to go ahead and solo that guy right there. And let's As you do command. this. Get back here! God damn it, Katie Smash Lock. Go kill that guy. God damn it, Barrack. Why is this guy still... Actually, hold on. No, no, oh, okay, no, no, no. You take that guy. Actually, use Sunder on that guy. Lantry, do you have your thing back yet? Uh, nope, but go get down this guy. So I'm gonna need some help. Oh, good, Lantry's wounded as well. Oh, and Lantry right, leveled up just before he got wounded, so that means he's going to be wounded after the battle ends as well. Okay. Landry does need to level up, so let's go and deal with him real quick. You know what? Having a spell cooldown go down seems like a really good thing to have. As for his other abilities, I'm kind of wanting to do the first level in Sage. Because it won't really give him... It's not really going to give him much... It's just an active ability, but some of these abilities here seem like they'd be useful. And what athletics do I need to scale the wall? 35. I have that easily. I mean, I am wounded, so I might not have it in, in its entirety, but I have some. Now, I know there's going to be several people over here, so I kind of want to have this go a different way. So how's this going to work? Landry to start things off, and we're going to rhinestone that dude. Um, then we're going to have... Barrett, go up and use Striking Iron on him. I will go up and thrust him. And then by that point, whoever's behind him should have dealt with the rest of, with the rest of this. So we're going right. to move Verse up, and she's going to go Trouble behind and fight. like take out the Not a problem, boss. <laughs> there we go. Everyone just attack this guy however you can do it. If you can't, don't worry about it. Yeah, my guy can't even get this trap by his own companions. That's fine. Your day oh crap, I didn't even notice those guys. Okay. Uh, Lantry, we're gonna need you to, whenever you get a chance... Oh wait, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're not actually paying attention to me, so never mind. These guys are the greater threat because they're actually trying to kill me. Um, can you sunder or can you cleave and have it hit both of them? It looks like you can. Let's do this. Cleave ho! And hit both of them. Spectacular. A damn thing couldn't pierce claw. Come on. Just kill her off. There we go. Kill the honor guard. Am I not level, about to level up yet? Four experience. Four more experience for the next level. Brilliant. Can we go kill these guys and then we'll we should. Do. Shield wall to myself. Now the Earth should be able to get through the wall. And I leveled up! Earth is gone! Hooray! I think I just had three attacks in a row. Really? If I'm getting three attacks at a time, then what the hell am I using special abilities for? Okay, and cutscene as the wall explodes into pieces. I'm assuming. Why is the wall not exploding into pieces? Oh, oh! Super Beam! That was... I don't even know what that was. Okay, so both Verse and myself have leveled up. So let's take the time to give them both levels. So as much as I'd like another ability in Might for just even more damage and, and strength and endurance, I think I need to look into doing other things. You know what? Screw it! More damage! And Verse is going to get another point in her quickness as well. 
So with Killing Spree, Verse can actually gain a double strike after killing a foe. Which I don't know how often she does that, but just in case, um, it'd be nice to have her do a double attack with two weapon fighting. That seems really, really useful. What's the, what's the culmination of this? Powerful upward blow that launches target into the air. You know what? Massive blow actually looks fun. And especially because with one more talent, I can unlock Massive Blow level 2 and Two-Handed Mastery level 3. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do Power first, and then I might move to... What's the other ones? Agility? No. Range? No. Magic? No. Uh-oh. Is that the Scarlet Chorus? Is that the Scarlet Chorus coming through? I think it is. <laughs> so it looks like the Scarlet Chorus are just going to Hadouk in the gate and uh, bust their way in. So now what happens? We can have the Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus square off while I do all the heavy lifting. While I do the actual assaulting of the Citadel. So, about the Edict. <laughs> I love I love what we can still try to bring folks back to that as if it's going to change anything. No, I'll, I'll, I'll do the work myself, I guess. You guys go back to fighting amongst yourselves and I'll deal with the actual problem as I've been doing this whole time. I mean, as much as I've been bitching about this conflict, it has... It is actually provide a, an interesting sort of backdrop for the whole the whole scenario. It makes the characters feel, I mean, yeah, it does seem kind of stupid, but mind you, people are generally stupid. Like, think about all the stupid wars in the world right now. I mean, hell, even Egypt, that was a few years ago now, but Egypt, back when they were doing that, doing that little revolt or revolution thing, and after two revolutions back to back, they finally managed to succeed in what they wanted to do. They put their own government in place, and then that government turned against them, and they didn't have enough left over to, to stop them, so they just kind of had to deal with the, the new, even more corrupt government that they put up afterwards. Okay, so they're going to fall back, and am I going to have to fight enemies, or is it just going to... Is that just letting me know that they're now expecting me? Could I have snuck up on that dude? Would that have made things easier? Would that have made my life a bit easier than it's going to be? Potentially. I could have verse sneak up on him and like sneak attack him and kill him. Let's see, there's another guy back there we can't really get to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my guy charge in first and kill him back there. We're going to have Beric charge right into the center. While Beric is doing that, we're going to have him launch a rhinestone at the same guy. Then we're going to have Verse do skewer on the person on the left. Right. And we'll go from there. Heads up, we have company. Damn it, Keith David. This guy. I'm not dead yet. What are you doing? Disengage and go over here. Oh great, I'm gonna have to heal this. Barrick, did you do your thing? Okay, yeah, you did. Let's do uh this and you. Go and kill that dude. I am taking... I am in a lot of trouble right now. That could hit up potentially three people. Or four. Oh, come on. Hit all four. Hit all four. Yes! It hit... I, well, hit at least three. Damn thing couldn't hear Ow! I just took a lot of damage. That guy knackered me pretty bad. Ooh, and Landry's not in great shape. And Landry doesn't have anything to use on himself. I'm not... Ow! Landry, okay, someone go deal with that. Barrack, please kill this dude before he kills violence. Landry. Feel... Never mind. Oh, Landry's gonna take another wound from that. That sucks. I will age. Did I fucking get wounded as well? God damn, damn it! I just fix this. Do not kill me. Do not take my character out. What the hell is? Okay, something bad happened. Something bad happened. Ow. Yeah, I don't know how those guys managed to do so freaking much damage to me. That seemed a bit unfair. Two wounds on my guy. Three wounds on... Okay, I might need to use a camping supply. Oh, well. We're back to full. All our wounds are gone. I have seven we'll more camping supplies. So, if something bad like that happens again, we can just kind of deal with it. Alright, I can't actually see what's going on, right. so we're just going to charge in there and Heads deal with whatever. We have company. Oh, there's just two of them. Okay, this should be easier. I think. Okay. So, everyone else seems to be going like they need to. Katie, you're gonna we'll freaking run. We need to focus all our attacks on one person because uh, we found out if we leave more people alive at one time, that's when the bad things start happening. 
I think I got even one of them. Hey, there we go. Holy crap, that was so much easier than the last room. I got it. That was way easier. So I just dropped a save here, and yes, I know what you're thinking. Oh, don't be such a pussy. Hey, this isn't the Fallout New Vegas run. I, I can do whatever I want here. I can save scum if I want to, if I just just enough to get through this. I am a shield <laughs> hero to my Yeah, that's a mage. Let's go deal with him. Uh Verse, he can Vera can handle that guy by himself. Uh you need to come and use Ryan Spike on the mage. Actually, the major Oh, they're both mages! Oh shit! <laughs> Potion. Oh, I Thank you. Kids. They'd be feeling that one. That didn't actually. That's not gonna hit two people. I don't know. What the? You were down. I watched you die. <laughs> okay, Keith, David, go kill this dude. Apparently, Landry's an idiot. And you can't figure out how magic works. Will do. Hey, way to cast that spell now when we don't need it. Ooh, read the glowing scroll. Learn new spell, Sigil of Force. Ooh, that sounds interesting. What is the Sigil of Force? Sigil of Force channels arcane energy into magical forces that push and I can use it. Oh, so it's basically a magic missile. I don't, I seriously doubt that's what it's going to be called, but if it was actually called magic missile, that would... Okay, now I've got to know. Now I've got to know if that's going to happen. Oh, it can't actually be used in close combat. Well, never mind. Single distant impact. Boo. Okay. What happens if we go into stealth mode? They won't mode? see me coming. I'm curious if we can actually. I mean, they do seem to be expecting us, so I can't imagine that's going to work. I mean, I don't know why I'm doing it like this. I know they're just going to engage the first thing that comes into their field of view anyway, like freaking retards. So to start, I will set them to do things, and then they're just going to ignore me, and I'll have to redo it. So, yeah, let's that go ahead works. and do this. Come and hit us, my iron. <laughs> Good job, Verse. That guy. My armor feels. Ooh, he leveled up! Hooray! Where am I at? No, that guy. He got the ranged weapon. Oh no, shit! I'm by myself, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> well, I've got two healing potions left. Might as well use one of them. And then I'll use <laughs> Warrior Respite. I haven't even been paying attention to these guys. They seem to be handling themselves already. Will do. Oh! Eric doesn't get here. What? Lantry, what are you doing? Oh, you're helping me! Oh, thank you, Lantry. Shit! Yep, I'm gonna use another healing potion because otherwise I'm gonna die! <laughs> Alright, Barrick, where are you at? Go kill this guy, he's really doing lots of damage to me. Okay. They can turn invisible, that's not fair! Is that ink? Okay. No, wait, it's blood. The most dangerous guy is down, and now we just have to deal with some dude with a falks. By the way, can someone tell me, am I pronouncing that correctly? Is it falks? Is it foe? Is it how how does that work? F-A-L-X. I've never seen the word before anywhere else. Okay. Now that combat is ended, I can finally go in and level up Beric. Gonna give him a point in might so he's doing a little bit more damage, and so that I don't have to be the primary one doing it. And then if I give him a point in Seasoned Veteran, it'll allow him to engage one additional enemy, so that could be really useful for him, uh, him tanking for us. Alright. This is a death arena if I've ever seen one, and that is a boss if I've ever seen one. I'm gonna drop another save here. How do we want to do this? This is gonna be really... This could go wrong really quickly. Because there's a mage over there, and it doesn't tell me how much HP he has, which is unfortunate. I wasn't finished doing my overlook of the site yet. I have no idea how this is gonna go. You are the face of the enemy, Van... Well, yes. So we kill her, we, we win. Wait a second. Kill her, leave Eb alive. We might be able to convince... I think I remember seeing Eb with a, with a, a hammer down there. Which means she's a potential companion. Wait, what? We can intimidate her? Oh, fuck, I gotta try that now. Met with nervous eyes and shove as one of the Oathbreakers dashes for the exit. Oh, fantastic. We managed to intimidate one of their guys to run away! 
<laughs> what? Actually, it probably will. I can't imagine I would have beaten you if you had five people. Four on four, we might stand a chance at this. Even with two of our guys wounded. Come at me, girl. Okay. So, there's a lot of backing and forthing, us trying to, you know, say, hey, you kind of made a stupid choice. I'm wondering if I can actually recruit Ev. I think I'm going to have to fight her anyway, but... Okay, let's have... Oopsies. Okay, let's have KE go and attack her. As you come out. Oh, he got frozen. She also took quite a lot of damage from that. No one helped her. If we take down Ev, that's most of their damage gone. You will fall She's doing more, before way us. more damage to us than uh, to anything else. Okay, Lantry. Uh, where's your healing ability? Heal me up if you be so kind. Thank you. Now, I'm, I can thrust again? On it. I'm not built for this sort of violence. <laughs> ah, Lantry's down, okay. Come on. Come on, Katie. Yes! Okay, you should be able to take this last guy by himself. Bleed out, you little I'm gonna shit. probably go down here in a minute. I don't think there's much I can do about it. Yep. See if we can at least damage this guy before I die. Oh, I can. That was a lot of damage, actually. I mean, I'm gonna go down here in a second, but at the very least, at the very least, I put up a hell of a fight while doing it. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna be. Oh, and Ev is still. She's not technically down. She's just on a knee. Okay. I kind of wondered about it. Oh, don't heal. Okay, so now it's down to just Vera converse. Go, go finish, finish her off. She's doing way too much damage and way too, like, she's healing. They won't even get close. Come on. Come on, you got her. Shit. Shit. God. Okay, Barrack, you got this. You're the last one standing. You can do it. You're just a, you're just a standard, you're just a random guardsman. Most epic battle of the game right now. Guy clad in massive amounts of iron to his body versus random female guardsmen with a, a falcs. Falks. Still don't know how to pronounce that. Come on, bro. This Finish weapon is useless. Three damage. I gave you an extra point in might. You have a might of 16 right now. You're doing three points of damage. You disappoint me, Beric. Two points of damage. <laughs> Weapon is ineffective? Oh, that's what's going on. Hang on. Weapon set. Ha <laughs> that's better. There we go. That was the problem. That was why this wasn't working. He was using the wrong weapon. Okie dokie. So now that I have him using the right weapon. And the battle is over. We may die, but others will follow our example. Mark my words. Now you arrive. I should blood to It's mine. No, I, I'm not going to betray them. We're going to totally... I'm cool. It's not that I wouldn't normally be opposed to being evil and like going against both parties. But honestly, I, I, I love the idea of having potentially an army at my disposal. A smaller army, but an army nonetheless. Parties received Rending Edge. Oh, did we max out our favor with the Disfavored? So look like the Disfavored do in fact favor us. I uh, claim a claim to a dungeon hall, let us be free of this edict. As warm energy begins to form around you, before you know it, you feel as if you're lighter than air. Never thought I could be so free. Oh, wow, he's... Is he about to undergo the quickening? Well, we've undergone the quickening and ascended to Valhalla, so apparently this just begins stage two of the game. Okay, and we have arrived on top of a spire of something. Masonry of Ascension Hall is placed wide open space in every direction save for a slab of ancient stone beneath your feet. You know, if I were on top of a tower and I couldn't see the bottom and there were no, like, railings on the side, I probably wouldn't feel too... I'd probably stay away from the edge. I wouldn't say I'm scared of heights, I just don't really like them. Wait, Tarkas Ari is up here with us? What the shit? I thought she was dead! And the... I, why is the Iron Marshal up here too? Okay. What is going on? Yeah, okay. Right there. It doesn't have my mark yet, but it says Loyalty 2. It has Loyalty and Fear rather than Favor and Wrath. So this is a companion right here. But I promise you, spare me, I will serve you well. Serve me well, and all can be forgiven. People probably aren't going to like that, but I don't really care. I'm trying to build my own uh, 
small elite squadron here. Um, Lantry, I've liked having you around, but I think... I will return to our holdfast at once. Yeah, you're better as a scribe. I need someone who can actually do damage in combat, and that's going to be this person. I might have to go and, uh... Okay, let's do this. And now, apparently, we're just going to advance on with the main game. Claim Ascension Hall. Satisfying the terms of Kairos' baleful edict. Uh, free from Overlord's death sentence. Threat of execution no longer looming. The Overlord's army turn their attention away from Citadel towards each other, as I knew they would. Tensions flare over the long siege. Recent explosive crescendos and disfavors throughout the course. Clash in iron and bronze in a hasty, disorganized battle. As forces are cut down, the voices of Narat and his officers escape to Stone Sea, leaving the conscript army to carry on their battle against the disfavored. In the aftermath, the disfavored broke camp and withdrew to their fortress in the Blade Grave, there to regroup and prepare for the extended campaign against the Scarlet Chorus. Having taken Vendrian's well for yourself, Archon, Grave, and Ash recognize your lawful claim to rule and occupy the Spire. Good. I did all the fucking work. It Basically, you guys just dicked around and fought each other. So, everything we just did was for nothing. Thanks, guys! Tunon, the Archon of Justice, observes chaos and discord spreading across the land. Archon summons the Fate Binder, return to court at the Bastard City, and report on his actions in Vendrian's well. Oh, so. Before we end this off, because this is going to be where I end this part, I'm going to... Um, okay, I'm going to see exactly what the deal with Spires is. Because it looks like Lantry's just chilling out right there. Oh, also, I need to find out what the deal is with my new companion. Because I now have a new spellcaster. Who has Syzygy. It's 14 to 15 arcane. Recovery 2.5, freezing damage. On weapon crit, frozen for 6. Ooh, that's, cut. that's not bad. She doesn't have, seem to have much health. Actually, hold on. She has almost as much health as I do. At least my maximum. Rending Edge? What the heck is Rending Edge? It's a one-handed weapon. Let's give it to Beric and let's see what hit it looks like on him. Rending Edge versus a Falcata. You know, hold on. Oh, wait, yeah, versus a Falcata because he's equipped with the pop. That's good. It takes a little bit longer to hit, admittedly. But yet it still has a slightly higher DPS and more armor penetration. I like that. Tide Casting, which is apparently based on Might. Okay. So I kind of like that. We're going to actually put two... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put two points of quickness to lower the cooldown, give her might and wits, and that will increase all of her magic abilities. As for her different talents, title and grave, I don't know what these do. Arcane Missile. Okay, let's go with that. Bonus all frost damage. Done. Mother's Embrace, and I have one more. Bonus to damage dealt by magic staves. Let's go with that. Now, admittedly, this means I lost my healer, but on the bright side, I have gained someone who's a bit more stronger, who's a bit stronger magically. Okay, they're getting really poetic with it. Like, you have become the spire, you feel what the spire feels, you think, it's like, the spire is a hunk of metal, or rock, or whatever. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not sure what happened, but I think I just, like, let my, I think my soul just left my body and merged with the spire temporarily. Find a way to the Lethian's Crossing Spire. So what does that mean? What can I do with this? Ah, okay. Spires. What does a spire do? Ancient device. Perched up is a product of a forgotten age. Unclear what function it once had. Resting in a spire grants a bonus to all skills. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, whoa. I can do things. A merchant with a mop will also create camping supplies. Oh, we can hire only six at once. Oh, man, that's... That's interesting. And we do have enough... Oh, and it also takes bronze rings, not copper. So, very, very careful. Okay, a smith who produces weapons. Nice. So, we figured out what spires do. You can actually spire upgrades. What the heck is that? Okay, it's just different spires. Okay, so, I can apparently recruit people to come here, and they will provide me with services. So, it does kind of work like a home base. I was hoping for something a little bit better, I guess. I don't know. But here we are. We are on top of the uh, the Spire. The Spire and Vendry as well. We have no more time left. We were told to report back to Tunon. And from there, I guess we're going to have to declare war on the Scarlet Chorus. So that's going to be an interesting turn of events. Uh, but we'll find out how that all goes down next time. Uh, I'm going to keep playing, I think, a little bit longer and just see where exactly this plot goes. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks as always for watching, guys. I was Ben, and this was more Tyranny. See you next time, everyone.